All right, questions. Hey, Chelsea. Questions for Chelsea Gray. We'll start with Sabrina Merchant, SB Nation. Hey, Chelsea. Uh, even in the loss, what can you say about the performance of Candace to lead this team, you know, in this game and throughout the course of the season? Um, you know, she's, she's great. Um, she exudes greatness. She puts, she, you know, she puts it all out there on the floor. Um, it's amazing to be her teammate and to be able to see her pride, her um, the way she approaches every game, the way she approaches life. Um, and you saw that and you felt that throughout the game tonight. We didn't get the win. Um, but she's greatness. Pull up. Um, I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to keep saying that until people really understand that. Um, but uh, it's a blessing to be her teammate. You can you win LA Times. Chelsea, just a, just a struggle for you today, not only scoring, but kind of assisting. Um, you didn't get any assists. So what were they doing that made it so difficult for you, especially because you had you had had some success against them in the regular season? Um, just throwing bodies. You know, I would come off of a down screen and there would be three people. Um, I would come off a pick and roll, there would be two people. Um, so just always showing a crowd. Um, no matter you know where I was on the floor, whether it be post ups, but all over the floor, that was you know you can tell that that was you know what they had talked about and discussed, and uh, you know credit to them for um, making it difficult on me. Doug Feinberg, AP. Chelsea, I know it's obviously disappointing, but just talk for a second. I mean, there was so much more than just basketball that you guys were playing for this year. I mean, it's just sure does something. Just what the good that came out of the bubble and the season for you guys off the court, as opposed to obviously what happened tonight on the court. Yeah, the bubble is it's unreal. Like being able to compete at a high level and be in a bubble, not be able to get outside, not be able to see our family and friends play without fans. Um, being in this bubble and coming here, we had a bigger, greater purpose um, with the Say Her Name campaign, you know, police brutality and justices against black and brown people, letting people know, engaging with people and telling the importance of voting, completing the census, you know, all that came with this season. We had a responsibility to, you know, inform the public, inform people around us to be able to, you know, leave a legacy and leave this place better than we found it for the younger generations. And um, that was, we were playing for a bigger purpose. We all came here knowing we were playing basketball and, you know, we wanted to win a championship, be it put in the best position possible to be able to win a championship. But outside of that is just so much more. Um, and at our core, and, you know, it's a human issue. And, um, I think the, our, our points and our talks and being able to have those type of conversations was important throughout this season. Howard Megdol, next hoops. Kelsey, congratulations on the season you've had both on and off the court. I know it's a tough loss tonight, obviously, but I'm wondering, and Candace talked a bit about this as well, when you think about 2021, when you think about the future in L.A., they're going to have some decisions to make, but you're going to have some decisions to make as well. And I'm wondering where where your head is at about that right now, moving forward with the Sparks. I can't even think about it right now. I mean, I'm still hurt about this season. I mean, I mean, we lost 20 minutes ago. I mean, I can't even you know really respond to 2021. I think we got to get through this year, find a way to get better on and off the court and um, come back next year even better, even greater. But right now, it's just a lot of hurt and pain. You know, we made it this far to have, a, you know, for us to be going home. It hurts. So I'm not even really thinking about next year at all. Last question for tonight. We'll go to John W. Davis, Windsider. Hi, Chelsea. Thank you so much for your time. How would you grade your competitive spirit in this game and then – also, is there, you know, a part of you that is ready to leave the bubble or the wobble, as we call it? Um, I'm always going to compete. I mean, it didn't happen for me tonight. I'm always going to compete. I'm always, I, I hate losing. 
Um, I don't know how to give that a grade. It could be A plus because I'm always going to try to do my best every time I step on the court. There's been times in which, you know, I didn't know if I was going to continue this game because of injuries or whatever the case may be. So um, I'm going to try to compete. So that, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not excited leaving the bubble because we didn't leave the way we wanted to leave. Um, it'd be nice to see family and things, but we came up short, and that's going to hurt for a while. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you.